What is going on guys? It's Trip here again today and today I'm gonna be showing you guys a sick tutorial on this amazing effect that I think adds a lot of personality and life to your edit or your your clip or whatever. And this is gonna be screen pumps synced to your music. And I'm gonna give you guys a RAM preview of what this will look like. I'm going to turn down my audio so it's not so loud. They call me Mr. Beat Monster, bring the heat constant. Lee every G, please keep your peace on you. Haters from afar like a SB and now I know it might be kind of hard to see with this clip because like just the lighting and how, how everything is. Um, but basically um, what is going on is that every time the bass kick or whatever the bass kicks in um, to the beat, uh, the screen kind of pumps up so it kind of you know gives it that little screen pump effect. And um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And by the way, this is not very hard to do. It's actually just using expressions and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to delete this audio amplitude layer. So I can go ahead and get started with this. All right. So uh, make sure before I start, I want to make sure that you guys um, know that this is something. Uh, this isn't an effect that you want to add at the very end of your editing. So you know, after you've, you're done and you've gone through and added all your effects and stuff like that, um, in, in your CC, um, then you want to do this. This is the very last effect that you want to do if you want to do this effect. Um, so basically, what you want to do is go to your effects and presets, type in bass and treble. And drag that onto your song layer and bring your bass up to about 50 it doesn't have to be exactly 50 and then um, bring your treble all the way down to negative 100 and then you want to right click on your song layer go to keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes and um, before you go on what you're gonna do is uh, go and delete your bass and treble off of your song layer so it doesn't mess up how the song or how the song sounds and then you want to go to your audio amplitude and delete the left and right channel so all you have are the both channels. Go down to your timeline, um, make sure audio amplitude is selected, press U for your keyframes and you'll see the little slider thing pop up. And um, what you wanna do is go to your graph editor and this may seem a little, um, like a little intimidating at first. Um, and once you go to your graph editor, make sure you have slider selected so you can see these little lines um, pop up. Uh, so what you're gonna do is uh, find a common low and a common high. And I know this sounds, you know, kind of weird, mathematical. Well, I don't want to do math when I'm doing editing. It's really not that, not that hard, guys. Um, it saves you a lot of time when you want to uh, do instead of doing something by hand. Um, so what you want to do is find a common high and a common low number. So uh, you know, there's a, a common number around here. So the the low number I think I'll choose is about ten. Um, there's like a lot of numbers that's around ten like 8, 9, 11. So I'm going to do 10 and my high number is going to be about a 45. So what you're going to do is alt click on the slider stopwatch and go down here and type in linear, open parentheses, value, comma, your low number which is going to be for me 10 and then comma your high number which for me will be 45. And by the way this these numbers will be different for you. Um, your low and your highs will be different for you, of course, if you have a different song, which I'm hoping you probably do or whatever. Um, so 10, comma, 45, comma, and then you want to type in 100, comma, 110, and uh, end parentheses. So what you should have typed in down below with no spaces are linear, uh, open parentheses, value, comma, 10, comma, 45, comma, 100, comma, 110, and then uh, close parentheses. Gosh, that's a fucking mouthful. <laughs> um, so uh, once you have done that, what you want to do is go to your timeline and click on your um, your actual video layer and um, press S for scale and then alt click on it on the, on the scale, top, yeah, scale stopwatch, alt click it. And this uh, little option menu should come up and uh, where it says expression pick whip. You want to click and drag that to the slider so you can pick whip it to the slider. And you're pretty much done. There's nothing else really to do. You want to cl uh, click out of your graph editor by clicking it again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I told you guys it's really not that hard to do. It's um, it's so much easier by doing it manually and adds a lot of personality and you know stuff like that to your to your clip and i hope you guys enjoyed it so yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe peace